You know, I like to keep it real. And the other day I decided I had really reached critical mass with my tools. I was having trouble figuring out where everything's supposed to go. And uh, there just wasn't any place for it to go. And we had this table in this room that I just came out of. It used to be in that corner over there. It's just piled high with crap. Batteries and chargers and there were some yard tools leaning up against it. Cordless types. And my wife and I have been talking about how can we clean up that corner. <clears throat> get some room back in that room. And I decided to get a tool cart. And that's the one I ended up with. You might have seen my very slight review of it before and it's funny because I wanted to get the orange one and I was going back and forth between green and orange because I have a Kawasaki and guys who have Kawasaki's like green unfortunately my Kawasaki is not green it's black so I could have gotten a black tool cart and I thought well that's kind of boring and it'll get dirty my original tool chest was partly black and it's red and I didn't want to duplicate that and I wasn't going to get a craftsman I knew I was going to Harbor Freight to get one of these five drawers I settled on orange <laughs> I know look it's not orange <laughs> so I settled on it and I had my heart set on orange because I thought I have a lot of orange stuff. Look, I got the Husqvarna motor, mower. I have a Husqvarna trimmer that isn't in here. I have orange hose on my reel. There's kind of orangey red on that one. I have an orange chainsaw and orange earmuffs. You know, some old orange jack handles and orange safety stuff for running my chainsaws. And I go to Harbor Freight and all they have is yellow and white. And they had two of these and they had like six of the white ones. And I knew for sure it wasn't going to be white because look at that one white cabinet I have in here. It's just nasty and it's old too, but white's going to get dirty. That refrigerator is going to go eventually, but who knows how dirty it's going to get before we can finally get rid of it. I just don't want any white storage in my garage. So it was between white and yellow, so I got a yellow one. And I thought, you know, it's not really a... It's not a fashion show. You don't have to have stuff that matches, do you? Nah, not really. Because really, if you think about it, I got a lot of red stuff in my garage, too. I got red cans, a red cooler, red funnels red motorcycle paddock stands a red chipper a red hedge trimmer a red string trimmer There's a lot of red stuff in here red toolbox red removal for flight tag red chainsaw sharpener red compressor that's huge that's really red <laughs> so why not get a red one well they didn't have it so not a fashion show. I get a yellow one. I start looking around and I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe I do have some yellow stuff. And look over there, there's a, a halogen light stand and it's yellow. That pole saw turned into a brush cutter, it's yellow. There's a yellow square right there, framing square. I got a yellow Stanley box for my GoPro stuff and my drone accessories. I got a yellow McCulloch chainsaw. I got a yellow Poland Pro chainsaw. It's all good stuff. And it's yellow. There's a yellow hacksaw. And there's some yellow handled wire brushes. I got a lot of yellow stuff. There's yellow knobs on that red thing. Chainsaw sharpener. <laughs> so it's not a fashion show. And I put it all together and the first one 
got it all together. Never thought about opening the drawers because all the parts were in the top of it. That should have been my first clue because every YouTube you look at, the parts are in the bottom drawer. I'm going to open the drawers after it's all together and the, the wide ones, the second one and the first one from the bottom, they just came flying out like they were under stress or pressure. It turns out they were because the first box was a trapezoid in the front. It was 26 and a quarter inches across the bottom, 25 and three quarter across the top. And they had forced those drawers into the slides and locked them and put all the parts up in the top bin. And we didn't notice it until it was all put together. So I had to return that one because there was no forcing it back together. You could not get it to go into both drawer slides. Turns out the rivets that are in the bottom down here in the corner, right here, and over here. Those three rivets could have just been drilled out and then moved the chest inward to where it's the correct dimension and drill new holes and put new rivets. But I wasn't gonna do that, brand new toolbox. So I took it back and they gave me this one and this one is a different part number altogether. And all of the assembly and packaging was different it was harder to put together because the powder coat was thicker. So you had to really push the bolts through every hole that was round. The powder coat was in there. That was not true of the first one. Uh, the box that had the casters in it for this one had a wooden liner at the bottom to make it more firm. That wasn't true of the other one. And there were a lot of packaging differences in the way this was carefully packaged up. The other one wasn't damaged, but it wasn't assembled right either. So that's something you don't think about when you go to Harbor Freight, that there's more than one part number for a toolbox. Hey, there's a yellow crowbar. And there's a yellow crowbar on the other side, too. <laughs> the more I look around here, the more yellow stuff I see. <clears throat> there's a yellow bottle of STP something, I don't know, wheel dressing or something, tire dressing. But I'm happy with the yellow. It looks good. Got some red tools in the bottom of it. And it doesn't even stand out. It doesn't even look funny. It's just a little too clean, but that'll change over time. So if you're going for a toolbox, remember it's not a fashion show. It's just a toolbox. <laughs> Thanks for listening.